Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I am Bhavna. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how to embed or publish Power BI report in SharePoint online for modern pages. So in my previous video, we learned how to create a Power BI report using Excel. Uh, so we are going to publish same report today uh, on SharePoint for the modern pages. So before we start, uh, there are some points. There are two ways to publish a report or embed a report. One is publish to web and another one is embed in SharePoint online. So for publish to web uh, option, uh, basically it will generate iframe and links. So these uh, links or iframe we can use for both uh, classic as well as for modern pages. So if you want to use a uh, classic SharePoint, then uh, what you have to do, you need to create a web part page and then you can um, inject a script uh, with iframe and you can uh, add that into a content editor web part. So in that way, it will add a Power BI report in a classic page. Uh, in terms of talking modern pages, we are going to see today how we can add a publish to web uh, option for the modern uh, online pages. Uh, on the other hand, embed in SharePoint online. So this particular option actually, it is available only uh, with the Power BI Pro license of Power BI premium capacity. Uh, uh, so uh, since uh, I don't have this uh, option today, so I won't be able to see this option. But I can tell you what are the ways uh, you can use this option. Okay, so with this option, uh, you will generally get an embedded link for SharePoint. Uh, so this particular link you can add to a Power BI web part which is specifically available only for modern pages. So this particular web part you will not get into classic SharePoint page. Uh, so this thing you need to keep in mind if you are using with this option. Okay. So now we'll navigate to Power BI how we can uh, use this particular option. Okay. So last time uh, we saved our report under reports. Uh, with, uh, so this is our uh, report. So now we'll see how we can generate a link. Like I was talking about uh, the very first option publish to web. So we need to click here. And you are seeing here there are two uh, uh, links are available. One is uh, with iframe, another one is uh, with normal http uh, app.powerbay.com uh, so mostly we will use this particular iframe link into our sharepoint and also we can fix some sizes like uh, uh, after adding uh, how you want to look your uh, report uh, based on your size options so we'll see in a short while so Okay, so this is my site. So, since this is online, so I need to create a modern page for that. So, we'll go under site pages, how we can navigate site contain. Under site contains, you will have to search site pages. Now we'll create a new site page. So if you're talking about a classic page, so we have to create a web part page and uh, we have to add a content editor web part and we have to inject that iframe code. But for modern pages, you have to create a site page. So we'll, we are creating this page now. I will give some meaningful name to this page. Publish this page. So now this page is ready to edit since it is published. 
So we'll edit this page to add a embed script. So in a modern UI experience, uh, if you need to add uh, any web part, you have to click on this plus icon. If you remember for uh, uh, classic pages or uh, the on-prem uh, SharePoint, we used to have ribbon and uh, from ribbon we used to add a web part. But here since it is a modern experience, so this is the only way we can add a script or web part from here. So I was talking about the uh, second option uh, available which is embed to SharePoint. So if this option is available uh, to you after a subscription, pro subscription, then you can use this particular option and you can uh, add that link. Since we do not have that option alike today, so we'll use this embed web part add embed code so at the right hand side you will find one uh, section where we have to paste our iframe code so now again we will go back to our uh, power bi area and here we will copy and we will select the maximum size available you simply need to paste it It will take a little while okay so now we can see our power bi report again um, your page has been saved again we'll publish this page so that it is available for all the people so this is my power bi report if you want to highlight a particular visual, like we have many visuals which fits into the screen. Since we have two visuals and we want to highlight a one particular visual, so we have to click here in a focus mode. Here you can see the product and profile. Again, back to report. If you look at at the bottom of this report, there are some options uh, where you can enter full screen mode just to view only the Power BI report. So in this way, we can view the complete uh, Power BI visuals. Again, if you need to go back, you can click here. And if you want to share this particular report, then you can use uh, these uh, links uh, for LinkedIn, for Twitter, for Facebook. And if you want to share through email so you can use this uh, options okay so i hope you like this video and uh, please do comment me into comment section if you have any queries and uh, thank you so much and have a nice day